Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a very nice 1964 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe to show you. Now, this particular car, good owner history, saw a two owner. Uh, it's painted, it was painted in 1980, believe it or not. And it is the original color of silver blue. Paint looks great on the car. Uh, the wheels and tires, uh, of course, now these are a little bit newer, so these would be for a 1965 Corvette. Uh, and the tires, of course, the white walls, radials, Goodyear, very nice tires, but I do have the original uh, wheel covers for this car. But, of course, these wheels look great. I would leave them on there if it was me. Uh, body panel fitment, very nice. Headlight buckets aligned very nicely. That's important. All your badging. Everything looks good on the car. Notice the door fitment. Nice and straight. All the glass is nice on the car. All the bright work is nice. Take in the interior on this side. This is the original color combination for the interior as well, which is dark blue and, of course, white that you see there. Interior very nice, all carpeted with the beading around it. Little dome light working there. Headliner's nice. Dash pad, excellent. Muncie four-speed manual. Uh, I should point out, everything on the car works, uh, with the exception of the clock, of course. Door shut nicely. Again, panel fitment. Just right. Uh, 1964 had four-wheel drum brakes. They didn't come out with the four-wheel disc brakes until the next year, 1965. And this one has not been upgraded, still has the drum brakes. So pretty much a stock original car uh, for the most part. All the chrome is nice. Your uh, taillight surrounds and whatnot. Nice chrome, no pitting here. Original dual exhaust. Well, it's new, but original style coming out the rear valance. And I should point out, you're probably not going to be able to see this in the video. Very difficult to see, but you can might be able to make out these line, this line here, or two lines. So what that is, that is the bonding strips that GM or Chevrolet used to uh, bind the car. Uh, it's all the way around the car. They're all present, and on a on a mid-year Corvette in particular, you want to check these areas here. And what you're looking for here is, you know, if it if the car has ever been repaired. And all four of these fenders are clean. There's been no damage or, or accidents with this car. That bonding strip that I'm talking about is around the whole car. You can see it if you get up on it, but you can't see it from, from where I am. You won't be able to see it. But let me take a moment to talk to you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures of the car, uh, of course, but also pictures of the undercarriage. Now, keep in mind, it's not real pretty under there, but it is original, and there's no damage. Uh, the frame is nice, no rust or anything, no rot uh, for, from the fiberglass, for, you know, in the fiberglass or anything. It's, it's very nice under there. Uh, of course, Corvettes in 1963 uh, started with a uh, independent rear suspension. So, of course, this does have the independent rear suspension. Uh, 336 to one. Uh, gear ratio, uh, pause attraction, four-speed manual again, and now the engine uh, originally would have been a 327, and I believe it was a 300 horse, and you can kind of tell a little bit of that with uh, the tachometer that's in it, but uh, this has now been replaced out, and it was replaced back in the late 60s and maybe even early 70s with a 283. So, uh, but it looks like if you open the hood, you know, it looks like a 327, but it is in fact a 283. I checked it. It's a 1965 vintage.
Thicken the interior on this side. All the gauges work, all the lights work, the heater works, the wipers work, the turn signals work. And these cars, uh, you know, are so nice to drive. They drive very nicely, shifts well. Horn works, as you can hear. Let me, let me pop the hood here. Look at that engine. And again, you know, you don't have to slam the door or anything. Door fitment, nice on this side as well. Again, uh, good uh, owner uh, history. This is a two-owner car. The man that owned it last here uh, has owned it since 1973. And that engine was, that 283 I'm talking about, was in the car before he got it. So, yeah, sometime way back is when that was replaced out. But uh, show you up front here, all the chrome, by the way, bumpers front and rear are excellent, as you can see. Let me open the hood. So just looking at the engine, it, you know, it looks like a 283. In fact, this is the original air cleaner that you would have had on a 1964. Ignition shielding. Yeah, well, at some point, the you know there was a there's an alarm system. It's no longer functional, but I just left the horn there, so you could see it up under the hood. Very nice, original style, if not original radiator. It's got the GM uh, part number on it. It's a very nice, clean little car. Again, you know, hood closes nice. You don't have to force anything. So what I'd like to do right now is I'll hop in the Corvette, start it. You'll hear it run. I'll just drive it around the parking lot so you can kind of get a sense of what it sounds like, what it looks like, you know, moving under its own power. But uh, clutch works good, shifts nice, uh, starts easy, runs good. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> there's really nothing wrong with it. It's a really, really nice little Corvette. Good color combination as well. The, these are the original colors for the car. So let's do that. Runs nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Uh, brakes work good, nice and true. Um, most Corvettes of this vintage did not have power steering, and this one's no exception. But, you know, they really steer pretty easy without power steering, which is kind of nice. And of course, with radial tires, they ride very well. But, uh, yeah, very fun car to drive, very nice little car. Body panels are straight, excellent body, paint looks great. Yeah, this is a great little Corvette, but. If I can answer any further questions for you about this 1964 Corvette Coupe, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean, and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763.
Thank you for watching today.